The Bible isn't just a book of random stories. It's 66 different books that come together to tell one story. An incredible one about God's love for us. And now for an amazing story inspired by the book of Nehemiah, chapters 1 and 2. Though he had done it many times before, Nehemiah took a deep breath before entering the high ceilinged room where King Artaxerxes and his queen ate their meals. Nehemiah carried a heavy cup across the floor until he was face to face with the king and queen of Babylon. Your Majesty, as the king watched, Nehemiah took a sip of the sweet drink. He was trained to discern whether anybody had placed poison in the cup to harm the king. Mm. All is well, your majesty. Nehemiah smiled at the king and placed the jeweled chalice on the table, and the king took a drink. Mmm, grapes and garlic. Ooh, that's fine. Now, I hear a group of men have arrived from Judah. Isn't that your homeland? My family comes from Jerusalem, but I've never seen it. The queen raised an eyebrow. Home sweet hovel, I'm sure. The city was destroyed a century ago. Some Jews were allowed to return and rebuild the temple, your majesty. Ah, yes, to honor your gods. Mm. The one god, the one true god. Artaxerxes took another drink and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Chariots and cheese, just one god. What a strange idea. After serving the king, Nehemiah returned to his rooms, hungry for his own dinner. As he opened the door, he was startled to see someone at the window. The man turned quickly. Hanani, brother! Nehemiah raced across the room to hug his brother. Then he stepped back to take a look. Hanani's robes were dusty and worn. <laughs> You've just made a long journey. All the way from Jerusalem. <gasps> You've seen the city? What's it like? Do any of our people still live there? <laughs> <laughs> slow down, slow down. Brother, some of the Israelites who returned are still there, but they're having a hard time. The city walls were broken down. All the gates were destroyed by fire. Well, well that means enemies can attack at any time. Yes, it's not good. <sighs> Someone should do something. It's a big job. After Hanani left, Nehemiah sat down to dinner, but quickly realized he wasn't hungry. He looked out at the moonlit city of Babylon, but all he could see in his mind were the ruins of Jerusalem. Falling down on his knees, he cried out to God. Lord, you are the God of heaven. See how your people are suffering? We Israelites have committed sins against you. We haven't obeyed the laws you gave Moses. But remember what you told him. You said, if you people are not faithful, I will scatter you. But if you return to me, I will bring you back. For days and weeks, Nehemiah continued to call out to God, even as he served the king. And while he prayed, an idea began to form in his heart. An amazing, outrageous, and difficult plan. Lord, please pay careful attention to my prayer. Give me success when I bring my request to King Artaxerxes. At last, Nehemiah knew that the time was right. He grasped the king's cup in both hands. And this time, when he approached the king and queen, he didn't smile. He didn't attempt to hide the deep sadness inside as he tasted the king's drink. All is well, your majesty. The king studied Nehemiah in surprise. Swords and swine, why do you look so sad? You're not sick. Why shouldn't I look sad? The city where my people come from lies in ruins. Rats and rubble, that's true. W what do you want? As Nehemiah faced the king and queen, he cried out to God in his heart, praying for wisdom to choose the right words and for favor with the king. If you're pleased with me, send me to Jerusalem. I want to rebuild it. Tarts and toffee, you? You? Me. How long will your journey take? When will you get back? When the ladybugs swarm. Give or take a few months? Or years? Fair enough. You may go. 
Just one thing more? One thing more. May I take some letters to the governors west of the Euphrates River? Then they'll help me travel safely through their territory. Done. You may go. Uh, Just one thing more? You said that last time. Uh, may I also have a letter to the caretaker of the Royal Park? I want him to give me logs to use for the fort and, and city wall and a house. Granted. Is that all? That's all. For reals? For reals. Uh, your majesty. Oh, well. Dates and donkeys. Have a good trip. The king even ordered army officers and horsemen to travel with Nehemiah to keep him safe. So, after months of praying, Nehemiah was ready to tackle the biggest job of his life. <laughs>